welcome to Code Rush Feature of the Week. What have we got this week, Mark? Rory, I'm going to show you generic templates. Templates, okay. templates for creating types that are generics. All right, let's start by creating just a very uh, simple uh, list of strings right here, just to demonstrate what I'm talking about. So this is an example of a generic, where I have a, a generic type, and then I'm passing the generic itself, other type parameters. Um, and uh, in this case, I'm creating a new field variable that's a list of strings. The cool thing about generics is that they give you the ability to, in a type safe way, deal with uh, collections of items. And so there are generic lists, uh, there are generic stacks, generic queues, and I want to show you how to create those very quickly in Code Rush. Okay. So I'm not going to, and, and unlike previous demos, I'm not going to actually write any uh, complete functional code. Instead, I'm just going to give a bunch of samples and demos of the generics and how to create them. So to create, for example, a, uh, a new uh, generic, I'm going to type the letter N, and then I'm going to use the shortcut for the generic. So for example, if I want a generic that's uh, of type list, I will use an L for that shortcut. Okay. And then I'll use a dot as my delimiter, my separator, so that I can now specify the type, the shortcut for the type I want to create. So if I want a new list of strings, I would type in nl.s like that. So the nl.s yeah. is going to give me a new generic list of strings. And I can recognize it in the template because of this dot. That dot in a template name means I'm working with generics. So new list of string, and there it is right there. There's my new list of string that's been created for me. Saves quite a few keystrokes, as you Absolutely can Absolutely does, yeah, yeah. So let's go on and let's look at some of the other things. Let's say I want a new uh, a new queue of, uh, of of people, the person class that sure. I'm in. So um, if I want to use the class that I'm in, I can use a forward slash in the template for in place of the type. So if I want to create a new queue, I would type in an n, then a queue, new queue of, and I can use a forward slash, which will use the person class that I'm already in. So now I've created okay. a new queue of the same type that I'm in. I assume that forward slash would work with our other template as well. So we could have a, a list of person by, uh, what was it, nl dot forward slash? Exactly. And the forward Excellent. slash goes forward to the top of the file and grabs that class name and uses it. That may be one way of, of remembering mm -hmm. that. Um, there's another one, the backslash, uh, which is used to grab what's on the clipboard. So okay. um, for example, uh, if I wanted to come down here and copy string to the clipboard like I just did, I can now come in here and say I want a new list of and use the backslash to go back to the clipboard and grab it. One way that you can remember these is the clipboard's kind of going back in time, so that backslash is the way you'll go back to yes. that. Yes. So that's yes, kind that's of good. a way to remember that. So um, so I've got, you saw Q for Qs and you saw L yep. for lists. Um, if I wanted a stack, it's, you can guess, Roy. It's going to be an S, isn't it? I bet you're right. So let's say Surely. we want a new stack <laughs> of bools like that, for example. And that's what you get right there, right? Yeah. Or if I wanted... And this is all very simple stuff. All these keys, they're, they're the unshifted versions. They're literally mostly letters with a couple of symbols, but both those symbols don't require the shift key. It's just a, a period, a forward slash or a backslash. So very simple stuff. You haven't had to do any angle brackets, no parentheses, no semicolon, although again, that wouldn't have been too hard. Uh, and you can actually start thinking of it. The mnemonics we've re regularly mentioned. So N is new, list L, Q, Q, <laughs> S for stack. Um, all you've really got to do is transition to the, the period symbol being pronounced of. Right. And it, it's pretty much exactly as it sounds then. It's new list of integers, what you've got there. Which works anyway, because there's already an international disagreement over how to pronounce this. In the UK, <laughs> yes. that in the UK it's full stop, and in the United States yep. it's like a period or a dot. So yeah, so nl dot i out here is going to give us a new field variable that's a list of integers. Um, also, you can combine this with the other templates we've already seen. For example, m for methods. So if I want a method that returns a list uh, of, uh, for example, uh, datasets like that, I would type in 
ml.ds. And there it yeah. is. Notice it added system.data for us automatically up at the top. There, I just hit undo. That's where that's what I typed in, right? So it's very fast and easy to start combining generics with the other templates. Um, yep. Not hard to do. For example, if I want a property uh, that is a list of uh, a list of chars, right? PL.C, uh -huh. and that's that's it. So that shows you the generic um, templates for creating, uh, working with generics that have one parameter, that take one type. Uh, let me yeah. show you, by the way, where those are in case you're interested in that. If you go in the Code Rush menu and you bring up the Code Templates. Show. And then you just go one above to the template name variables. And then you go to the neutral language page uh, because these types work with all languages. So they're neutral, mm -hmm. not specific to any language. And then, you, and then you select generic types, one parameter, you'll see the full list here. So you can see here in this list, for example, that if I type in LL, I'll get a linked list or LLN will give me a linked list node or OOC will get me an, an, observable, an observable collection, right? So these are yeah. all, these are all in here. These are all ones that we can use. And uh, the other option up here is generic types, two parameters. And these are for generics that have take two different type parameters, such as D for dictionary, or SD for sorted dictionary, or SL mm -hmm. for sorted list. Let me just show you briefly how those work. So let's say we wanted to create a method that returned a dictionary of strings, indexed by strings, and returning ints. That's how I do it. So the comma, right. we use the comma to separate the two different type shortcuts. So that's gonna get me a method that returns a dictionary indexed by strings and returning ints. And all I do is I just hit the space bar to expand it. The, that's nice. the method template expands like we want to. Uh, get, uh, get mapping, whatever we can call that. Get, get mapping, let's do it one more time. Get mapping like that, hit enter. We're now inside here for any parameters. Maybe we want to come in and sure. pass in some optional parameters right there and then come down inside and ready to work inside in there and create that. Now, if I'm in here and I yeah. want to create a new dictionary of uh, indexed by strings returning ints, I just type in nd.s comma i like that. Very good. Okay. And that's essentially it. The, you can, if you Google, for a uh, Code Rush Roslyn uh, cheat sheet, right there, you can see the results uh -huh. that come up here. The Code Rush for Roslyn shortcut cheat sheet, and um, the second page has these generic shortcuts listed as well. So we come up here sure. and we we look at it. We scroll down to the second pages. The second page, you can see generic collections, one parameter, generic collections, two yeah. parameters. You can see them listed here. Of course, these are the ones that ship with Code Rush. Both those lists, that is to say, the list of the basic types, integer and string and things like that, that can be extended. And the generic list as well can also be extended. So if you happen to have created your own class, my very special tuple, which needs to take two generic parameters, you can add that in and give it your own little shortcut. You absolutely this, can. You can this create This entire it. thing is fully extensible. You can add it to this list if you want to, or this list if you want to, or you can create your own separate list just come in here and for the variable name, make sure you use the same variable name. If it's got two type parameters, yes. make the variable name be generic two type. If it's got one, make it generic one type and it'll work with all the Code Rush templates. It can be its so own. So we got you covered. Yep. We got you covered with all of the basics out of the box. And if you want to make your own, obviously you're coding your own stuff on a regular basis, you're using those types, add them into the right place here and you will gain all that same power for your own types as well. Rock and roll kids. Excellent stuff. Well, thank you very much, Mark. We'll catch you next week on Feature of the Week. For more Feature of the Week videos, click one of the two video links on screen or select from our playlist. Download and learn more about Code Rush from the DevExpress website. And be sure to subscribe to our channel to receive all the latest Code Rush feature videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.